Hi, today we're going to be taking a look at one of the ways you can build your Praetorian, a class that was added in update 14.3. Praetorian is the Titan Sold version of a Belite. So, we're building these on the same kind of concepts that we use for the Immortal Quartet of Bishops. We basically stack the survival skills up so high that they can defeat pretty much anything just by outlasting it. Like, even though they hit not like a superb attack damage, you can see this one's got barely <laughs> he's got under six, 7k damage he ain't gonna hit very hard but he is going to last a very long time we've aimed for 95 percent evasion as these are designed for going into extreme quests extreme quests if you did not know have a 20 percent evasion penalty one of the additions they made recently was you can see your evasion if you even if you're over the cap so you can tell quite nicely if you've got enough for extreme or not because before it used to be the evasion number was capped at 75 and you wouldn't see any higher but now they've added this nice little number, it's a very nice change. So this is like the basic kind of setup you need. You want blurred movement. You really, really, really want the extra evasion from that. We've then got another evasion and defense skill here. We've got uh, Advanced Blood. Shield Master is one of the only ways to raise a Praetorian's shield attack damage. Like it actually buffs the damage they get from their innate. So it's, it's a very nice skill to have on them. Sturdy, this really shouldn't be here, this should be a damage skill. You want to keep your damage reasonable as well, you don't want to go too low. And that's because there is a mechanic they introduced it recently. After 500 rounds in a battle, the game will automatically just kill you. <laughs> it's to help prevent players getting stuck, what was happening is there were scenarios, especially when they were building the Tower of Terror and doing their test runs, that the fights could get stuck into some sort of like perpetual loop where you couldn't damage the boss and the boss couldn't damage you and the fight would basically go on for infinity and that would cause problems so now every quest has a automatic fail condition after 500 rounds which we can work around you can still be build an immortal team that works well within those constraints we just have to not completely neglect the damage that so as i said in this case this guy sturdy will be replaced at some point with an attack skill maybe dancer blade so i could swap out the cat burglar items and stuff we'll see see what we roll Anyways, to the testing part, we've got four of them here as you can see, and we're going to go see if we can beat the Terror Titan, slash 20 HP. In the interest of not boring us all to death before the end of the universe, I'm just going to hit skip. Wait, you can see the one. Yeah, yeah, expect a lot of broken items. <laughs> That's not really a surprise to anyone. Oh look, we got like a array. We got a purple T13 version. But yep, they all survived as you can see in the problem. Yes, they all use matching outfits, it's so I know how to spot them. The only thing you need to be really careful of then, well, two things to be careful of. First of all, is the 500 round limit, as I mentioned. As I said, we can work around this with some damage skills. You can test your team in the hero simulator first to see how your average round count and work around that. The other thing to be careful of is certain combinations in tower, and this will apply to any of the more immortally tanky teams things like slayer and assassin combo you can beat them they're not like unkillable but they will hurt <laughs> they will hurt a lot now this one for example when i was doing a run up here he hit one of my praetorians for over 1200 damage on a crit which is quite a lot very much ow but again if you've got enough damage you'll get through it fine it's all about finding the right balance for you so that about wraps it up anyways as i said this is just one way you can do them there are many ways you can go about building them the only other thing i will mention is i forgot to mention it when i had the hero up you'll notice we've only gone for element 170 here that's because for what we're doing 180 isn't really easily achievable white rogue gear at the minute is very lacking it's it's not great <laughs> you have to run dawn thief pieces really once that changes, once there's better gear out, like new tier 13 gear with light affinity, this will probably change up to 180. As it stands, it's better for performance-wise not to hit 180 if you're built specifically for this. If you're building Praetorians for anything else, completely ignore that. Always go for 180. But specifically, if you are building for this, you're usually better going for 170, and because that'll allow you to run extra off pieces like Cat Burglar or Hunter Moccasins or stuff, if you need the evasion. So yeah, I um, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll see you next time.